Hello babies. So today is definitely like one of the crappiest fucking days that I've had in a while. Um I talked to you guys earlier about having an anxiety attack because I was going to the doctor. That happens a lot. Because I tend to forget things when I'm in there. I shut down. Um, you feel that authority type thing coming from someone that you're supposed to be able to trust. And you also want to listen to you and believe you. And that's hard. Um, so one of my medications, I had to fight to keep part of it and sign a fucking contract for a year to make sure I wouldn't hand it out and do illegal drugs and shit. Like, I'm blown away. Like, fine, whatever, I'll sign your shit. But, like, fucking wow. And then, um, <clears throat> when I got in there, they handed me a piece of paper of all my prescriptions that were listed in my files and almost every single one was wrong or I didn't take it or whatever. I had to have like a half hour conversation straight out, straighten out my medications because these motherfuckers don't take notes properly and they don't actually listen and they talk over you. Here's the thing. I'm a subcontractor. I work for people besides owning my own business and I'm I'm now having to buy my own insurance, which is very expensive, and, um, to get told by your doctor, basically, like, we can't help you unless you have thousands and thousands right now to spend, and, um, I had to fight to get some blood work done just to rule some things out, like, I want Lyme's disease ruled out, and I want MS ruled out, and, um the way insurance companies work even when I have insurance it's going to be fucked up and it's going to be hard for me to prove what is wrong with me because it's an invisible illness and we don't know what the fuck is wrong with me but I'm pressing to try to figure out why if they're not going to so she looks at me and says it, you know it's going to cost you it's going to cost you some money are you sure you want these tests done I wouldn't have showed up today if, if I didn't want to know, if I didn't want some fucking answers, if I haven't been calling. They, they, there's things that need addressed and changed because your office fucked up four or five times. Like, I know I say fuck a lot and I'm sorry, but when I am in heated and I'm passionate about something, it flows because I just don't know what other bloody word to say um that was my morning I was dealing with the doctor and trying not to act like an you know a hypochondriac because I study medicine and I study alternative medicine and I've been researching for years now my symptoms and what could be creating them and watching my body and doing everything that they said and I have to keep switching arms because this hurts I'm sorry um, at least getting one flare up from my fibro every at least once to twice a year that's really really bad almost monthly it sucks um, while I get my period, sorry for you guys if you're a dude watching or whatever, um, so I have a pap smear scheduled, it's been scheduled for a month because it took a month to get my appointment today with my actual doctor, even though I called in last week because I was having severe chest pain and I couldn't move my arms and I couldn't really work my hands, but you know, whatever, no big deal. She looks at me and says, well, do, is it really pertinent that you keep this appointment to check up on your yearly? First of all, 
I don't think I had one in the past year or two. And you're supposed to get one every year. Like, I'm almost 40. Let's be real. She looks at me and talks to me at, like I'm 20 years old. And I, I don't know shit. And um, I'm seeking out drugs, which is not the case. Um, <sighs> fuck, I don't even know. I, like, lose track. Um, so whatever, I had to fight to get the little bit that I did today and also have one of my medications lowered. Um, and then on top of, <laughs> so yeah, I want to keep the pap smear. Yes, I need it. I need to know if that's part of the issue. I have huge underlying issues with my guts in that area um so yeah i i want to make sure everything's solid like what the why would you fucking ask me that i know it's expensive but it's an appointment i need okay like today today's appointment for her to not touch me but just to like half listen to me i spent 180 dollars but if i would have done it in payments it would have been 250 and my labs cost 260 which at least I get billed for the labs. I didn't have to pay for the labs today, but that was after the lab lady gave me like a prescription general discount. She said she has no idea what it would have been if she wouldn't have given me the discount, but the price that she gave me about floored me. Anyway, it's some answers that I need to know. I need to know if I have lupus. I need to know if it's just fibromyalgia. Eventually, I'm going to need tested for MS, but I have to prove to my doctors and insurance that I have this invisible chronic illness that you can't always see. I breathe a lot and look down. It's really the only way to keep myself from crying or yelling. So this is my coping. I get home. I'm obviously a mess. Tell my husband, you know, how my appointment went and what I had to, to go through. It um, really affects me that I try to go to a doctor to help me out and I spend so much money and I don't have any answers. So I came straight to my bedroom and um, I was, I just laid down, like I just needed to lay down for a minute. I thought about maybe napping, I don't know. And I hear my son choke on a piece of candy in the living room and I hear my husband scream my name to come because he's choking. I've never ran so fast, not thought about anything so fast in my entire life. And I, I like threw my 200 pound husband off of him and picked up my son and gave him the Heimlich maneuver and he, he threw the candy up and he's okay. And he, he was completely fine within a couple of minutes, but I'm still not, I'm still not. I could have lost my son today, the best thing in the entire world. Today was shit, guys. Dude is fine. I'm not. Yet. I'm so lucky that I get to be with him a lot. I wouldn't wish my disease on anyone because I want to work. I want to be able to work even if it's just like 25 hours a week and I can't rely on my body. 
But the doctors won't do anything to help that, so. There was a chance that I could have lost my son today. And I can't imagine my life without him. He's changed me. He's made me a better person. He's made me learn so much. I love him dearly and I cherish him even when he's a complete turd face. People, spend time with your children. Do it as much as you can. <sighs> I'm going to try to relax. But I wanted to share that with you today. Um, I'm in a super brain fog. I'm a zombie. Like, I'm just toast at this point, guys. <sighs> but to anyone out there who has ever lost a child, my heart goes out to you. My heart goes out to you. And I also don't want you guys to forget that July 17th is the memorial, the anniversary day of Flight 800, TD, TWA Flight 800. I lost a lot of good people in my hometown and family were on that plane. So, it is already a very hard week. I am not going to hurt myself, and I'm not the kind of person that would. But right now, it's super effing rough. I know I'll get through it, and I'll be stronger, because that's just what I fucking do. But when I decided to be open and honest with you guys and show you my life, this is as raw as it gets. If you'd like to share your story with me, if you'd like to comment, if you've ever come close to losing a child, if you've ever lost a child, or if you deal with issues that I do or anything similar when it comes to medical comment let's chat let's be friends we need each other and that's what it comes down to I'm gonna try to relax and I am going to watch comfort movies and probably at some point eat something junk food cuz comfort right Love you, babies. Have a good night.